Hi everybody, it's Ben. I'm here to do another painting. So today my Extreme Sheen turned up, arrived, which I am so, so thrilled because I want to do a pearl pour for ages. I couldn't get hold of the 24K gold, so I'm doing it with a vintage brass, which is still goldish. It's it's a golden colour, but it's just not as um, gold as the 24K one. But at the moment, it's been really hard getting hold of it. So I'm going to be doing that one. And I'm using Montmartre paints. So I'm using a light purple. I'm using a purple one. And I've done a third cup because I wanted it to be all purples. So a third colour is um, half of the light purple and half of the normal purple to kind of make a medium purple. And then... I've got lamp black. So it's just going to be black. The three purples and the extreme sheen um, brass, I think I said. Vintage, is it vintage brass? Yeah, vintage brass. They're all mixed with Floetrol. Um, approximately two to one for all the colours in the black and one to one for the uh, extreme sheen. So I'm really excited, but this is the first time I've actually had the Extreme Sheen, so we will see if I actually get it right or not. <laughs> I try my best, but I'm not... I've I got to practice more to make sure I get it perfect, but I'm hoping, because I've done all the ratios from what I've learned. So I'm going to use this measuring jug, because I don't have any paper cups. So first of all, I'm going to go... A bit of black then I'm going to go well the light purple which I poured in there a little bit too quickly I think then the medium purple Then the darker purple. As you can tell, I'm a fan of purple. Then we're going to go a little bit more black. So, I hope I have enough paint. So, with from what I've learned from watching the videos of the pearls, you can't use too much, but you can't use too less. You kind of really have the correct amount of paint. So I'm hoping that my figures are correct. The canvas I'm doing it on is a 12 by 16. So these 12 by 16 canvases are a relatively cheap canvas that I get to do most of my most of my practicing on sorry if my cups are back to front um, I actually find the canvases aren't too bad for, for the price you can get much better canvases but for now I'm still using the cheaper ones I'm gonna wait until I've really got things down to a fine art before I decide to use too many of my expensive canvases. I brought them all. I've got a whole stack of canvases. I buy things when I see them when the shops have sales on. But I'd rather wait till I'm better at it. I used to do a lot of my when I first started learning, I did a lot of mine on quite on the expensive canvases because I I didn't want my work to come out cheap. But I've I got some to practice on, and I actually wasn't too displeased with the quality of them. So I use them a lot of the time now. So 
So I'm going to do another jiggle pour because the one I did, actually it was only last night, I really, really liked. Even though I tried doing another pearl pour then, but I didn't have the extreme sheen because it hadn't turned up yet. So, and that didn't work. Well, the painting turned out nice, but I never got any pearls because I didn't use extra, um, the ex deco art. So, when it turned up today in the mail, I was so happy. Now I just hope I can do it properly and get the results that I'm after. I've seen the Pearl Paw videos ages ago. Probably would have been about a year. So I watched videos for probably a good eight, nine months before I really started doing any of my own pouring. I just wanted to learn. I used to just, on my lunch break, sit down and put a couple of videos on or watch one longer video of how to do things. I wanted to learn as much as I could before I actually got stuck into it. But I used to do a lot of um, alcohol ink pictures, so I'm not completely new to using fluids. Um, just, I wanted to just learn a bit more before I got stuck into it. So I'm just going to get my gloves on. So if you like watching my videos, please subscribe so you can see new ones as they come out. I'm hoping I can set up a new little painting area for myself in the next week or so, so I have a bit more space and it means that the I can probably have the camera a little bit further away so it's not so close because I kind of feel like it's a little bit, you know, not really seeing a lot of what I'm doing apart from just on the canvas. So, now the fun part. So, uh, to me this still seems a bit thinner than what I was expecting for only being one to one compared to all the other paints being two to one. But I suppose that's what happens when you get different brands. They definitely are different consistencies. So I've got a few different colours in this extreme sheen. Hoping that I can do more than just gold pearls. So there is a few bubbles in there, but um, I'll end up torching once I've got everything on the canvas. Okay, the moment of truth. And I so hope this purple one comes out, because I love purple, and I reckon the gold will actually look quite good in it. Once I've poured this on there, I'm going to get straight into tilting it. Um, I heard you don't want to mess around, you just want to get it done. With this type of technique so just gonna pour in and start to jiggle and here comes more purple Now it's looking a lot of black. So the only issue with using this larger cup, I think I end up wasting a lot more paint. 
So definitely not much purple showing yet. Hopefully it's under the black. Um, but I have a feeling it's not going to be. Hmm. The cup looks pretty cool on the inside. Hmm. I'm disappointed there's not much purple. Alright, I'm going to get to tilting. So. Over. Over. Yeah, I'm definitely disappointed there's not as much purple. I think I made too much black. Over. And. Come on, you can do it without losing too much purple. I'm losing some purple there. And over. Now I'm going to bring... Sorry, I'm tilting it away from the camera. I'm trying to get some of that purple back down through into the middle. moving just not a lot so I think that's all I'm going to be able to do definitely very black but this was just my first one so oh look I'm getting the pearls especially under that purple excellent Finally, I'm getting some pearls, which I've been wanting for so long. Now, my gloves have got some beautiful gold on them. <laughs> okay. So, there is purple all the way through. I don't know if you can see it as much, but there is wispy purple coming all the way through here, even up through there probably a fair bit of black here and then I've got quite some nice lacing of purple through here but that purple is definitely getting the pearls come up and leopard looking so I'm going to quickly give it a good torch I'm going to put it on low make sure if I've got any bubbles I'm popping them So I can see more coming up. I'm just going across and across, not keeping the heat on any area for too long. I think 
think I might have gotten whatever I'm going to get. Well, now, now's the waiting game when it comes to pearls. Is to leave it. And see what else comes up. But you know what? I'm happy even if I don't get a lot. Even if I just get a bunch all down here. Because that's looking so much more better than anything I've done before. Super happy. So, I think now I'm just going to have to leave it. Let me see if the camera can see the pearl. Oh, yeah, you can. Excellent. So you can definitely see the pearls coming up through this side more than anywhere and a bit around the bottom. Not so much over on this side, but I am not fussed. I'm, I'm just thrilled that finally my extreme sheen has turned up. I live, I live in Western Australia, and most of the um, art online art stores are over on the other side of the country. So it takes so much longer for things to turn up, and I'm relatively patient. But um, you know what it's like when you order some paints; you you want them right now, and that's how I was because I wanted a pearl pour. So I'm going to leave this. I'm going to put it on pause and I'm going to come back in about 10 minutes and I'll show you how it looks then. Cool. Okay, so it's been five minutes and I did forget to do one thing. I forgot to scrape my edges. Because I don't want it pulling off any more paint. And the edges, the edge on this side is so um, gold. It's quite amazing. So make sure you always do this because it will keep pulling the paint off. I learned that the hard way when I first started doing painting. I was wondering why I'd do a paint in the evening and I'd get up in the morning and my painting looks so different. And I couldn't figure out why it was doing that at first. And then I learnt that it was getting pulled down by the drips on the side. And now that I've learnt to stop that from happening, it's made a huge difference. And it's also it's also good to do too, because then you get to check your corners and make sure that the edges are properly done. I quite like edges of paintings, um, they have a real different look about them, but they're still amazing, especially with the pores. Okay, so I think more have come up, or they've just become a bit more enhanced. So definitely this side and around the back and this corner up here not a lot throughout this whole middle i actually don't mind i think it actually gives a a good well, minimalist look in a way but like i say i always i'll love this i'll put this on my wall because it's it's dark it's quite manly but at the same time it's got a bit of color in it in the purples and it's got the gold shimmer with the, with the pearls so this will look fantastic on my walls and when I have one that I like better it will just get replaced and this will end up going to a family member or a friend I got friends at work that are always asking me if they can have one of my paintings and I've given a few away so um, I'm gonna bring you in for a closer look so I just pause it for a sec and there we are so this is that beautiful one side is looks to me like a purple and gold leopard I love it and that's that lacing so there definitely is purple in there it's just not around the whole picture and as you can see from the sides definitely the golds come up all around the edges 
Sorry, I'm moving the camera too quickly there. So that looks great. And as we come along, sorry, you can see my reflection in the camera, in the painting. It's because Float Troll's so shiny when it's wet. And then over in this corner, and as you can see, there is purple in through the painting. It's just not highly deep or defined. It's a little bit like a, it's a bit like space, but from a kind of not a, a dense cluster of space. And then you come over to here and it's just amazing. I'm so happy, so, so happy. I don't know if I've got my camera upside down or the right way. Oh, I think I was holding it upside down for you. Sorry about that. <laughs> could tell I'm not used to using camera work but there that's how it looks thank you so much for watching I am so thrilled with this and hopefully um, in half an hour or so those pearls will be even nicer um, they may not grow I might not have enough gold on there I was a bit worried about using too much and wasting it because it wasn't the easiest for me to get hold of but we're going for one more Sorry, the light's reflecting a lot. There's the whole canvas. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so, so much for watching. And yeah, definitely subscribe if you want to see more. Because I will be doing more. I brought a whole bunch of extreme scenes. Okay, thanks everyone. Bye.